Miami. And welcome to the Miami International Boat Show. I'm Bill Sisson, the editor of Soundings and Trade Only, and I'm going to give you a brief overview of one of the largest boat shows in the world. This 69th annual marine extravaganza attracted more than 90,000 visitors and about 2,000 exhibitors to its in-water and conference center sites. Over the next several weeks, look for additional in-depth coverage of new boats and new products in both our consumer and trade magazines as well as on our websites. But for now, here's a taste of Miami for those who couldn't attend. Hi, welcome to Miami. Even in this down market, a number of builders chose to introduce new boats at this year's big industry gathering. One of the most unusual and forward-looking was a hybrid concept vessel from Mercury Marine. What the company's engineers did was take a large express cruiser and install both an electric and Zeus pod drive system. Solar panels were mounted on the hardtop and foredeck to help charge the batteries. When we pulled away from the dock on the battery power alone, she was a whisper quiet. The 42-footer did about 10 miles per hour with twin 100-horsepower electric motors and about 40 miles an hour once we lit up the twin 550-horsepower CMD diesels. The Mercury engineers also rigged the boat so that it could maintain its position via its acclaimed skyhook function under the electric motors rather than the diesels. Now that's quiet station keeping. The hybrid concept vessel also was a clear example of the green theme, green boats, green products, which is on the rise in pleasure boating. Look for more on this unique vessel both in print and online shortly. Grady White introduced what appears to be a nice boat for these belt tightened times, the Fisherman 230 with an 8 foot 6 inch beam. Senior reporter Chris Landry says this little center council really cooked with one of Yamaha's next generation 300 horsepower V6 four strokes hanging on the back. A good match for this little boat in terms of power and efficiency would be Yamaha's 250 four stroke. Sea Fox also showed a new 22 foot Bay Fox a CAD design, foam cord, stepped hull, geared for nearshore fishing and fuel-efficient operation. Scout Boats chose Miami as a place to unveil its new 34-foot center council, the second largest boat built by the South Carolina company. The deep V will be mostly powered by the new Yamaha 300s, which should give it a top speed in the upper 50s. Company President Steve Potts said that the new 34-foot Scout will nicely bridge that world of hardcore fishing and cruising. Mercury also had its quad Zeus boat on hand at Miami, which is a 60-foot Bertram powered by four 600-horsepower CMD Zeus pod drives. The boat had precise, low-speed maneuvering, and at high speeds, reporter Chris Landry says it felt like a runabout in terms of handling. That's one big runabout. If you like catamarans, you may be interested in the new 32-footer from WorldCat, built using resin infusion and chemical bonding between the hull and deck, and superstructure for strength and lightweight. Also in cat news, Twin V is back in business under founder Roger Dunshee. The company's 22 and 26 footers were always known for their smooth rides. Welcome back, Twin V. I also ran into Al Copeland Jr. at the show. Al Jr. is the son of the late offshore powerboat racing world champion Al Copeland Sr., who was the wealthy, colorful, larger-than-life founder of Popeye's famous fried chicken and biscuits restaurants and other businesses. This boat is a veritable rocket sled named Phenomenon, a 56-foot catamaran powered by four turbine-powered engines producing a whopping 12,000 horsepower. Al told me his goal was twofold, break the 220.5-mile-per-hour speedboat record and to find a cure for the Merkel cell carcinoma that claimed his father. How close are you to, to attempting, attempting the record? Uh, we're going to set the record. Uh, we're going to attempt to set the record on July 2nd. Uh, this year in Sarasota, Florida. We'll bring you more on the phenomenon story in a future edition of Dispatches. I've long been a proponent of safety, and one product that impressed me at Miami was the True Plug from Force Bar, a California company. You'll find more on the True Plug in this edition of Dispatches. West Marine, the large boating retailer, awarded the Merck Monitor Eco Screen its $10,000 grand prize in its first annual Green Product of the Year contest. Designed and built by Mercury Marine, the EcoScreen monitors engine RPM, 
boat speed, fuel burn, and trim to help boaters run their boats as efficiently as possible. Uh, for the advanced boater, um, even though you're doing it by field, there's a lot of slippage in regards to the trim senders, and uh, the feel of the boat isn't always the same. Because we're using raw data off the bus, we can do better than you can even do by feel because it's, it's a direct number. Mercury estimates that boaters could reduce their fuel bill somewhere between 10 to 20 percent while they lessen their impact on the environment. That's the proverbial win-win. One of the real head-turners at the Miami Beach Convention Center was the aptly named 50-foot passion catamaran from Statement Marine, complete with hot tub and two young bikini-clad models. Wow. So there you have it. A boat with a tub full of hot bubbling water and two crew. I'm not sure what we'd do for an encore, so we won't even try. There's a whole lot more to talk about, but we're just about out of time. Look for complete reports with more product news and the upcoming issues of both Soundings and Soundings Trade Only magazines. This is Bill Sisson for Soundings Dispatches.